good morning everyone today I wanted to wanted to do a quick video on verifying integrity of a downloaded file uh, that you get from internet okay and these days we download file all over the place and it's very important that we make sure that the file that we are that we are downloading is not somehow uh, compromised and you don't have any malware in those uh, files okay uh, so what why integrity is important integrity if you know a little bit of security it's part of the CIA track which stands for the confidentiality integrity and availability uh, most of the time what we use to verify the integrity is something called hash value and there are several different options, several different uh, algorithms that are available to create a hash. Now, to be a good hash function, there are a couple of prep properties that you should 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 know. Like, uh, if I have a file, and if I'm running, say, a SHA hash algorithm, it should produce one unique string. Now, if I run the same al algorithm on that same file, say, hundred times. I should get the same string value as long as there is no change in this file now in here if I add something if I say add a star or dot such a small change and if I run this SHA algorithm again on this file it should give me a completely and dramatically different uh, hash value there should not be any similarities at all between the previously created hash function hash value and this one uh, we we'll look at how to generate the hash value and validate using uh, three different hash functions in command line and we'll also look at one open PGP validation where you get a signature key and you'll be validating the signature that was generated from uh, after signing a file so uh, I'm using the Ubuntu system and in this system uh, there's a small utility program that gives you a very nice uh, GUI called GTK hash that I highly recommend everyone to use I already have that installed so all you really need to do to use this program is run your sudo apt install GTK hash in your uh, command line and it will get you the program installed in no time at all it's very easy to use all you need to do say I'm um, I for, for this uh, exercise um, I have downloaded this Ubuntu 20.04 beta desktop release today that was released probably yesterday and I want to verify the MD5 the hash values for that particular release as far that I have so all I need to do click on here go there choose that file okay and open it and uh, I can at this point just click on the hash and validate the hash like if I click on the hash it will just take a second it, depending on how big of your file it may take a little bit of time it's a very small file it will be very very quick for a file like this is a 2.8 gigs file it's taking about uh, maybe 20 seconds 30 seconds something like that but it's gonna create and calculate the MD5 has SHA-1, SHA-256 those are the three most commonly found uh, there could be HMAC key and uh, CRC32 uh, values as well but uh, let's see what happens so now the program is done calculating the hash functions on that file and I have already gone to the Ubuntu website and and recorded what are the MD Shaun values for these three and here let's, you see that it's uh, matching perfectly the MD, MD Shaun value is starting with D3EFF, D3EFF and ending with F25 and same with the other two uh, quickly I wanted to mention that if you notice the string length of these three SHA functions are different MD5 is, is the shortest so you know that's the most insecure uh, hash function that we have uh, in this exercise and SAR 256 if you see it's uh, very very long almost double the size of the MD5 sum so this one is way way more secure uh, way a uh, hash function than MD5 sum so you should not be probably using MD5 sum anymore you should be sitting to the SAR 256 
Okay, at this time we have looked at the GUI tool and let's look at the command line. So if you prefer command line, there are already built-in function uh, called md5sum, SHA1, uh, SHA1sum and SHA256sum that's already pre-installed in Ubuntu. You really don't have to do anything. Uh, again, all you need to do, go to wherever you have downloaded your file and just, uh, just run this command and go to the folder where you have your file. Again, my example is the uh, ISO file that I have already downloaded and I'm going to paste it and uh, I'm just going to let the MD5 sum calculation go through. And once I have this, if you notice, it starts with the e, D3EFF and that's completely matching with D3EFF. So I'm uh, confident that I have the right I show and it's authentic and its integrity is properly maintained. I'm not going to run the other two commands, but it's the same thing. I can run the SHA1 sum on the same file and SHA256 sum on the same file as well to get this SHA value and the other SHA value, which I have already verified. But right, one last thing I wanted to show you uh, sometimes you get a file where people will say, hey, use this uh, signature key or signing key to validate the authenticity. Uh, for example, uh, for the Talis, Talis is another Linux distribution, and I downloaded their latest release a couple hours back. Uh, what they have done, they have given me a signature file okay that you can download from their website and they have told me that if i validate the signature this signature should match this gpg key or that's generated using the rsa algorithm okay so uh, let's see if i can show you that um, the website here you, you know this is the site where i downloaded the tallies i show and it has a very good uh, direction already to download this ISO image, download the signing key, import the key into your GPG, and then run this command. And the output of the command should match match this, and uh, this value should match as well. So let's go here, and I've already done the validation, so I have already imported the files. If I, I can try to re-import it again, and it's just gonna tell, yeah. Mm -hmm it's all it's already there uh, and then uh, we'll just run this command this is kind of a weird command so there are lots of options so you kind of have to remember this one and I'll give it to you in my video description should you have it with you and if I run this one uh, sorry if I run this one I think it's running and we'll just wait for the output for a second and we'll validate that the key that is being generated here uh, 50E2 ending and uh, starting with FE, uh, starting with FE ending with 50E2. So I can confirm that this is also a valid signature that I like. Uh, I think that's all I wanted to present you today in this video about how to validate your file. So please check the integrity of your file, be safe, and have a good day. If you like the video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you.